Tabletop miniatures are awesome, and for a lot of people, they make a huge difference in enjoyment and overall immersion in any kind of tabletop game, whether it be a war game or role-playing game, whatever. However, they can get very expensive. Trust me, I know, I've spent way too much on minis over the years. Today you have a few options. You can buy minis from hobby shops or online. You can back Kickstarters, which is usually a great value, but maybe more volume than you need. Or you can get a 3D printer and 3D print your own. Since I've been collecting minis, I've been kit bashing and modifying minis to try to make the heroes and monsters that I imagine or make up for my campaigns. But then I realized how much less expensive and more fun it can be to try to make my own minis completely from scratch. That's what this channel is going to be all about. There's tons of different channels I love that are all about showing the crafting community how to build terrain for your miniatures and war games and whatnot, but I haven't seen a single one yet that is totally dedicated to showing how to make humanoid miniatures from scratch uh, for very cheap. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now that brings us to armatures. There are all kinds of materials you can use to build up the form of miniatures, which I'll explore more over time, but the most important thing, in my opinion, is creating the armature. Because armatures are essentially the skeleton of whatever you're creating, and like bones and people, they're essential for maintaining our structural integrity. Without them, we'd just be amorphous, fleshy blobs. <laughs> well, that might be exactly what you're trying to make for your tabletop game. I found my humanoid minis are significantly easier to sculpt and more durable once they're completed when they have armatures. So in this video, I'll show you how to make them and talk a little bit more about how I got good at making them really fast. All you really need is wire, but it's great to also have a pair of pliers of some sort. There's so many different kinds of wire. There's artist wire, hardware wire, electrical wire. It's easy to get bogged down in analysis paralysis. So what I recommend is to simply use paper clips. They seem to be everywhere, and if you can't find them at school or work, they're insanely cheap to buy at almost any store. They're also a very convenient length for making tabletop sized miniatures once they're unraveled. And they're virtually one of the most portable items you can find.
When I started making paperclip armatures, they looked terrible. But I really wanted to get good at making them so I could sculpt better minis. So my solution was to just carry paper clips and a multi-tool in my pocket every day for a few months and make at least one armature per day, whether I'm on my break at work, on a train, on a plane, hanging out outside, or just watching a show at home. There's almost never an inappropriate time. <clears throat> Alright, well, just find times in your day that you're waiting around or not too busy and make a bunch and you'll get really good at it. As a bonus, random people might come up to you and tell you they think what you're making is really cool. Well, that's it for the video. If you want to stick around and see how I make decent looking humanoid miniatures out of these guys, check out the next few videos.